guys, what is up? This is Matt Days Me once again. Welcome back to another movie review, aka after I saw this time it is going to be on Alien Romulus. This is not directed by Ridley Scott, unlike the previous two films and the very first film. This film is directed by Fede Alvarez, the director of 2013's Evil Dead and 2016's Don't Breathe. And he sort of combines some elements of Don't Breathe into this film, as it kind of has a similar plot, except instead of Stephen Lane, you got a xenomorph. Of course, there's a new uh, group of characters who are on a mission, and from that mission, they are not alone as they encounter, of course, what you would expect from the Alien movies. Facehuggers, chestbursters, and of course, xenomorphs. So yeah, this movie is going to be vaguely familiar to what we've seen in the previous film. So yeah, you could say that this is some sort of fan service film, but you know, what can I say about the Alien franchise? The first two movies are works of art. They are some of the best that sci-fi has to offer, not just with horror or action, but in filming in general. And there hasn't been another movie to top those two films. But I won't lie, I do like some of the other films. I really liked Prometheus, and I still really liked Alien Covenant. Probably not as much as I did before, probably just because I was really hyped for that, knowing that Ridley Scott was coming back. But, you know, it was what it was. It certainly did not top his first film, but I still generally enjoyed it. And I did hate Alien 3, but it kind of grew on me a little bit because it did have its moments, and... I could kind of understand a bit more what David Fincher was trying to do with that film, but the biggest problem with uh, the movies that came after that is that it really didn't have as much of the suspense as we were expecting because, you know, the Xenomorph did not appear in Prometheus until just right before the credits because, you know, that makes sense. That was a prequel. And yes, the Xenomorph does make an appearance throughout a lot of the movie, or at least during the second half of the movie, but... I can generally say, thanks to Fede Alvarez stepping in for Ridley Scott, I mean, he produced the movie, but uh, Fede Alvarez has control of this whole thing, and I can generally say it's better than all the sequels that came after Aliens. I had myself a really good time with this one. Does it have elements of fan service? Yes, it does. But what really makes this film work for me is that it brings back the suspense and tension that we are known to see. Despite the fact that I like the other films that came out, uh, you know, with Prometheus and uh, Alien Covenant, I feel like the tension really wasn't there as much. But right here, when it gets to the second act, I mean, the first act is a bit slow. We're introduced to all these characters. Of course, we had to. But uh, the main lead role I thought was very strong, and I really liked her connection with some of these other characters. Like, there's this one guy who is sort of like her adoptive brother or something, and uh, he's a robot too. But I'm not going to go in any further with this character because, well, you know, I can't get into spoilers. I'm going to try keeping it as brief as possible. Um, I do feel like where some of the film falters is that sometimes it can get a little predictable and there are elements of CG here and there that don't always work, but there is a good amount of practical effects and the effects for the aliens look really cool. I feel like they did a really good job with uh, the look and uh, the setting too. It is all done really well. And uh, yeah, there is some action, but you know, it definitely focuses a lot more on horror rather than action. But hey, you can have action in your Alien movies. I mean, of course, Aliens was far more of an action film rather than a horror film. But hey, it is mostly focused on horror. There are a few jump scares, but, but I do feel like some of them do generally work. And uh, it does tend to try some new ideas. There is one idea that they have that I, ha I was actually really surprised with and I thought worked really well. I'm not gonna say what it is, but they kind of have a new type of monster and it was something that I was not expecting and it was just really cool to see. And yeah, like I said, there are some fan service elements. It's, it does have a lot of similarities to Don't Breathe, like I mentioned before. So yeah, you can thank Fede Alvarez for that, for just making it feel like, uh, you know, don't breathe in outer space. But, you know, despite the fact that it does generally feel that way, I really liked, uh, you know, what they were going for here. I felt like the tension was still there. Uh, the horror was still there for the most part. And sure, there are elements to the storyline that uh, don't always work, but really, it's the fact that he 
brings the terror back rather than just, you know, having a brand new story and have it mostly focus on that. But, yeah. And uh, in terms of the fan service elements, there is one familiar line that they meant, that they bring up. I feel like it could have been handled in a much cooler way, but they kind of use it in a kind of a comedic way, which was, eh, okay. So I, I see what you were trying to do, but it really wasn't as cool as, well, yeah. It's not just... It's not just Alien they, they reference or uh, do callbacks for, but also Aliens. So, yeah, the callbacks are there, but all in all, I still had a really good time with uh, Alien Romulans. I think it's the best sequel since Aliens. It's definitely not as good as the first two films. I don't think there's ever going to be another movie to top those two films, but the tension is there. It has some strong performances, and all in all, I can safely say that this movie definitely shows that this franchise can still have the tension, as long as it's given to the right person, and I feel like they gave it to the right person here. And it shows that this franchise <laughs> is far from being game over. I just hope they don't try to milk more out of this, but, you know, with Prey being the best Predator movie since the first film, it's nice to know that there still can be good uh, franchise revivals that do tend to do justice to its source material. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.